rabies uh, continues to be um, a disease that's a risk to animals um, and, and, and to pets and humans um, in New Hampshire. Both stray kittens testing positive for the deadly disease just days apart. One kitten injured and cared for before showing symptoms of rabies. Dr. Benjamin Chan from the DHHS says right now it's unclear exactly how the strays became infected. However, he does say it's likely they were exposed from a wild animal carrying it. But we can't rule out the possibility that there may also be rabies within a feral cat population in the North Conway area. DHHS working to figure out how many people potentially came in contact with the two kittens. Dr. Chan says those who've been exposed to any rabies infected animals should seek medical care right away. Rabies is a universally fatal disease once a person or an animal starts to develop the neurologic symptoms, the nerve uh, symptoms of rabies, but it's also entirely preventable. It's a combination of a series of vaccines and also uh, rabies antibody, what we call immune globulin, uh, that can be administered to somebody who's been exposed in order to prevent them from going on to develop disease. He says no human in New Hampshire has been infected with rabies in decades, but that doesn't mean it's not still out there. Not everybody needs to be, you know, going out and, and seeking, you know, rabies vaccines. Um, it's only those people that have an identified known direct exposure or contact with an infected animal. And Dr. Chan is urging anyone living in this area to avoid getting in direct contact with any stray, wild or feral animals. And that includes cats or kittens. In Conway, Imani Fleming, WMUR News 9.